upper house farm is is a hundred acre farm uh, that uh, that I rent off my uh, mother and father-in-law. We use this as a base for our contracting operation and and our farming operation. Uh, we, we have three sites in the county: one over at uh, Ledbury and uh, one at Lempster, uh, where we have the majority of our potato storage. Upper House Farms a, a medium loamy soil. Uh, the uh, land over towards Ledbury that we have is, is sort of a red uh, clay content soil and the Lempster land is, is a silty type soil so you know we've got quite a quite a variation of soil types within this county um, and we do farm a, a block of land down towards Ross on Wye which is you know a very lighter uh, you know medium sand soil so uh, you know we've got some some very challenging soil conditions in the county but very versatile you know Herefordshire is a very uh, unique area in that you know it's very contrasting in the type of farming activities that take place here. And what activities do you, do you carry out in terms of Russell Price farming? We we've got sort of uh, three strings to our bow really we we've we have uh, our contracting business we have our farming business and we also have a crop care business we run self-propelled sprayers and 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 quad bike spraying and uh, we have in the last 12 months taking on a machinery dealership selling uh, cultivation equipment for a firm called Sumo Engineering. So uh, you know that's something that's uh, appealed to me and I was offered the uh, chance to take on the dealership and I jumped at it really because it's quite a effective string to our bow. I farm just under 500 acres uh, in South Shropshire, a predominantly arable farm with a few Hereford beef cattle. Um, and uh, it's a family farm, but I've really uh, taken over running of the farm about seven years ago from my father, who's now retired and living off farm. Can you tell me a little bit about Seven Y Services Limited? Yes, yeah. Seven Y Services Limited is, is a farmer owned, uh, professionally run services company that has its roots in uh, as a machinery ring. Uh, we have uh, developed a number of different uh, businesses to service rural SMEs and farms in the West Midlands region, uh, including temporary labour, ta training, uh, the supply of organic manures and uh, health and safety and HR services, mainly delivered to, to farming businesses uh, in that area. How important to you would you say that the, the fuel efficiency of the machines that you run would be? hugely important we we fuel now is probably our our second highest highest cost um, uh, against labor uh, you know variable cost i think last year our annual spend was around seventy thousand pounds this year it's going to be excess of a hundred thousand pounds uh, and not all of that fuel we supply quite often customers are supplying you know their own fuel on certain jobs that we do and uh, you know, it's becoming more and more evident to me that, that we have to think about efficiency as far as fuel is concerned. I actually do some of the farming myself, so I do the spraying and the fertiliser spreading at home with higher tractors. And, and sat on the tractor this, all, this spring, uh, spraying my wheat, going up the hill I was using about 27 litres of fuel an hour, and coming down the hill I was using about 7 litres of fuel an hour. And it started to get me think about, you know, how do I get more efficient use out of that tractor? And so I started changing gears and changing the, the revs and I could save fuel by doing that. And so talking to one or two of our kind of professional uh, farmers that we deal with at 7Y uh, and, and Russell, uh, we were batting the ideas around and I said, look, I think we can deliver a course that will just give people the understanding of how they can get the best fuel efficiency out of those machines. And so we spoke to manufacturers and to local dealers and we decided that we could produce about a four-hour course that would allow people to think about how they're going to do that and how they're going to get that fuel efficiency. One of the machines you run is this Fent 820. How has that performed in terms of fuel efficiency? Well we, we bought that on the back of a, a direct comparison on ploughing and uh, our previous tractor was a, a larger tractor, similar horsepower. Uh, we were using in the region of 40 to 45 litres an hour on a six furrow plough, ploughing potato land. Uh, we had a demonstration of the Fent tractor and we were again saving in the region of 10 litres an hour on fuel. 
uh, doing the same job for similar similar outputs. And you know, to me, that even though the Fent product is probably a little dearer to, to purchase in the first place, the the long term savings are going to far outweigh that that extra capital cost. And uh, the the technology of these tractors is is going you know on and on and uh, I think the right operator in the seat can can get huge benefits from uh, from uh, the, the the technology that the machine offers. I always got the diesel monitor on trying to keep it down but there's harder times but there we are. Before I had a 7920 John Deere I find this a lot better a lot more maneuverable comfortable and it is lighter on fuel because I suppose the 7.9 is an American tractor isn't it? so they don't really worry about things like that over there. By using or thinking a little bit more about using fuel more efficiently, how much, how much saving do you think you can make? Um, I've, I've set, set my sort of goal as far as if we can save three litres an hour on average through a busy period, uh, we can run up to 30 tractors or combines or sprayers in, a, in one day when, when, we're, when we're busy. Three litres an hour per unit equates to something like 56 pounds per hour fuel saving which equates then up to, on a 12-hour day, £700 a day. That's considerable. That is considerable. Since you've been using the Fent perhaps more fuel efficiently, what, what do you estimate? How much saving do you think you might have made? Difficult to assess. You know, I think you can only truly assess the running cost of a tractor on the day that you sell it. You know, obviously thinking about resale values and things like that. But we've certainly got reliability. And that's been a big issue within our business that we've historically found that tractors tend to let, let you down the very minute you're relying on them. Uh, a lot of what we do with a view to potato operations is requiring a, a, a lot of tractors and machinery in a field to, to do the job at the same time. If one tractor breaks down, everything else comes to a standstill and that's very frustrating. And uh, uh, I think uh, the hardest decision that I probably made was to buy my first Fent tractor. Now I'm beginning to realise and understanding the savings that, that can be made. Uh, we're, we're, we're happy that, uh, you know, that, that maybe that's the direction we, we want to head in the future when we look at machinery replacement.